Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make computer animations. Kind of like the one you see here. This is one I did a few months back. Now please keep in mind that this is going to be a tutorial on how to make computer animations and not how to use the animating tools. So it will go pretty fast. First thing you want to do is go to animator.com click on enter and then download and then just download the newest version of animator and then whenever it's through downloading just uh, extract the zip file and you'll see an animator.exe icon and then double click on that to start the program to create a new project go to file and new and we'll get started first thing you want to do is just select a shape like a circle or square. I'm going to select a circle and then just drag that to the stage. And then you can move it by using the different move objects to the left. Uh, you can also resize it, flip it over. You can experiment with those if you want. But the next thing that we're wanting to do, going to do is add texture to it. So go to Options and Materials, double click on where it says New, select Diffuse, Load Texture, and then just select any type of texture you want. I'm going to select a, an egg texture and then click OK and OK and then click apply and it's going to add that texture to uh, your object. Then go to build and convert to mesh and select the points icon um, and you can, you can see that it's converted it to different points and you can select any one of these points and move them. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just uh, kind of select multiple points and kind of mess around with this till I get it in kind of into the shape of uh, an egg. This is going to be an egg. So um, just mess around with that, all the different points. You can select multiple points or just one point at a time and move them around. And then what you'll want to do is change the views and you can do that just by clicking on where it says front and uh, and you can look at all the different angles to make sure each side looks like an egg and if it doesn't you can change it. You could also go to all views and uh, see all the different angles all at once. Alright so the next thing we're going to want to do is go to object and new to create another object. You can go to settings and object to change the name of it just so you can differentiate. This time we're going to add text. Um, we're just going to put the word egg and then convert it to mesh like the other one and then just resize it. Now um, if we look at this at a different angle say the ortho angle you'll see that it's flat it's not 3D so what we can do is go to build and extrude and extrude it I um, just extrude it to the length of 10 and then we can also I'm not gonna apply a material to it but I'm just gonna change the color of this we'll change it to uh, blue and then just click OK. Click apply and it's blue. Alright so we'll go ahead and save it and then the next thing we're gonna do is go to mode and scene to create an animated scene. You can see here that you'll have a camera. Now this camera is an object so you can move it around also. And we'll go to build add object and we'll add the egg. And then we'll do that again to add the word egg to the stage and uh, we can go to the camera view by selecting the camera angle or we can go back to front and what we what what you want to do is move the camera to the position that you want the animation to start at you can do this just by selecting different angles and using the move tools to move it around and then just go back to the camera view to make sure it's looking at exactly what you want it to look at Here's an ortho view to show all three of them. Just kind of mess around with that. Then I'm going to save it. And what we're going to do next is create the animation. So click on the key icon. Then we'll go out to about one second. So select uh, the one second block. And what we'll do is move the camera to the position that we want it to be in after one second has passed. So I'll go to top and just kind of move the camera over and you'll see that it's got kind of a guiding line showing where it was and where it's going now just keep in mind that this is only going to 
be where you want the camera to move after one second has passed which isn't that long so don't make it too big of a movement then the next thing we will want to do is select uh, two seconds and then move the camera to where we want it to be in the second frame uh, once it reaches two seconds so we'll move it just a little bit further and make sure you angle it correctly and then view it uh, from the camera's perspective to make sure it's looking at exactly what you're wanting it to look at so uh, then you can also press play if you want to preview it so then once we have the next frame we'll select three seconds and then do the same thing now whenever you're through with that with the animation you can even add a light we'll add a light to this one we'll make it a spotlight and uh, we'll view it from different angles you can see here there's a light and if I move it the light moves with it so this is what it'll look like from the camera angle with the spotlight um, you don't have to add that but you can if you want but then go to settings in environment and select panorama and then you can actually click an image to load in the background and um, then go to render and choose renderer make sure you have OpenGL selected and then go to render and render movie and make sure AVI is selected and click OK and then choose a compressor my favorite one is Divix so go ahead and click OK for Divix alright now here's the finished product slowed down by half alright well that's it for this tutorial for more go to tinkernut.com